All right, another huge piece of news in the world of AI this week. Chinese company Unitree has unveiled their G1 humanoid autonomous robot, and the crazy thing is it's only priced at 16,000 USD. I'll play you their demo video first, and then we'll go into the specific details. Alright, so for those of you who aren't familiar with Unitree, this is a Chinese robotics company, and they were founded in 2016. They initially focused on developing four-legged robots such as this Unitree B2. This is actually quite similar to US company Boston Dynamics, which has a four-legged robot called Spot, in addition to their two-legged robot called Atlas. But anyways, back to Unitree. A few months ago, they unveiled this H1 humanoid robot, which got a lot of attention. It can walk and run at incredible speeds, plus it can easily navigate through difficult terrain. And it can do crazy acrobatic skills like backflipping, which is learned using reinforcement learning in simulated environments, as you can see here. They claim that this H1 robot is the first robot to do a backflip with electric motors. And this is indeed true. So the Boston Dynamics Atlas can also do a backflip, but as you can see here, it's kind of cheating. So the ground here is not flat, right? It's backflipping to a lower step. So this backflip is obviously easier. Plus the Boston Dynamics Atlas, at least the previous version that you see here, it uses hydraulic motors instead of electric motors. So the H1 is indeed the first robot to do a backflip with electric motors. So everyone, including myself, just thought they were working on the H1. And I was completely caught off guard when they announced this G1 robot, which is only priced at 16,000 USD. You know, for a second there, from this position, I was expecting it to do a kickflip. But <laughs> we're not there yet. Nevertheless, this is still very impressive. And then you can see here on this sofa, it's insanely flexible. Plus, the movements are just so fast. If you compare this with, like, the figure one or the Sanctuary Phoenix, they are really slow compared to this Unitree G1. So here you can see it uses reinforcement learning and it learns through millions of simulations in this virtual environment. And then it translates what it learned in this environment into real life. This is very similar to NVIDIA's Isaac Sim, where their customers' robots are trained in this virtual environment, which replicates the physics of the real world. And why they're training everything in this simulation is because it's a lot cheaper and you can do millions of rounds of iteration, whereas if you did this in real life, it would take a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of effort. So as long as this virtual environment can simulate the physics of the real world, in theory, once it's done training and you deploy this in the real world, it should work the same way. Thanks to the sponsor of this video, Upix. 
If you're feeling overwhelmed with mid-journey or stable diffusion, you don't want to worry about prompting or learning all these different settings, well, UPix has made it dead easy for you to generate high-quality, realistic images of yourself or anyone else in just one click. It works on desktop as well as on your phone. You don't need to install any apps or anything, it just works straight from your internet browser. Simply select a template, and then upload your photo, and then click Create. It's as easy as that. And look how realistic the results are. There's many templates for you to choose from and more to come, so check it out at upix.app. <laughs> All right, so this, this demo of this guy punching the robot, I get it, they're trying to show how well balanced it is, even if you like punch or kick it, it still stays balanced. But I don't think it's wise of them to upload a video of a human punching a robot and then posting this on YouTube. Because all the AI models that we know today, they're trained on the internet, which includes this video of this man punching a robot. So number one, this doesn't look good for humans. And number two, when there is a robot uprising, this man is probably going to be on their list. So not a very wise thing to do. But anyways, jokes aside, you can see how this robot maintains balance very well, even after being punched. Now, this demo of it smashing a walnut is quite interesting. This just shows you the sheer power of its hand. It can be used as a hammer to smash things. However, note that, I mean, it smashed the insides of the walnut as well, so you're not going to be able to eat this. And then this demo of it chopping off the top of a Coke bottle. Again, the speed is just insane. If you compare this with like Figure AI or the Tesla Optimus or Sanctuary's Phoenix, they are so slow compared to the speed of Unitree. You can see here, this is the most recent video of the Tesla Optimus bot sorting batteries. And as you can see, this is noticeably slower than the Unitree G1. Here you can see it can also solder stuff, which requires precision. It can also flip toast, which even I cannot do. So overall, just very impressive. If you go to their website, which I'll link to in the description below, you can find more specs. So you can see its hand is made up of three fingers with force control, and you can optionally install tactile sensors so it can touch and feel. It weighs around 47 kilos and is 120 centimeters tall. It is super, super flexible, as we saw with the demo. It has a battery life of two hours, which is already really good for the amount of power and speed that this thing has. A lot of other competitor robots are still not wireless. They need to be hooked up to an electric supply, but this thing can run wirelessly for two hours, which is really impressive. And then plus it has a 360 degree perception. This is made up of a 3D LiDAR sensor and a depth camera. If you're interested in the software even further, it uses this LiveOx Mid360, plus for the depth camera, it uses Intel RealSense. And if you scroll down a bit, it looks like there's two variations of this. One is just the standard G1 robot, but they also have a G1 Edu, which I assume is for educational purposes. And then this table just lists out the dimensions and the degrees of freedom for each limb. I'll link to this in the description below if you wanna check out the details further. And if you scroll all the way down, again, the crazy thing is this is only $16,000 USD. Tax and shipping not included. Super, super cheap. However, they did not specify whether this is available for purchase right now. It does say that some of these functions are still being developed and tested and will be open to users in the future. But this is just crazy. From this video, we can see that these robots could very likely be deployed in the real world as soon as a few months from now. We don't even need to wait for 2025. These autonomous humanoid robots are already affordable, plus they can already do a variety of tasks. They can help automate things in factories, in warehouses, or even in households. Plus, as you can see from this G1, it's super affordable. This is worth less than a car. So that's all we know right now about Unitree and their new G1 robot. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. How soon do you think we can start seeing these humanoid robots in our households? And if you could buy this for $16,000, would you buy it? Would you have this in your home right now? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.